and those storms that Cindy mentioned, you can hear the thunder and see the lightning behind me, making for absolute miserable condition for the national grid crews that are out here right now trying to repair the damage. You can see the, the water flowing down the street around their national grid truck. Now, witnesses tell us that it was a, a rental truck that hit this utility pole and snapped it into three pieces this morning. The truck then kept going. Police say they found it not too far away in Canton with half of the side of it ripped off. Now, the driver of that truck, police say, is Nicholas Silva, 25 years old from Taunton. He is being charged with negligent operation, lane violations, and leaving the scene of an accident. We thought it was like Dunda, too. But it wasn't. It was, it was the thing when it came crashing down, and I seen the wires going like that, and I didn't know. Then I noticed the pole was down. Yeah. And he's he's the one who told me he goes, it was a truck that hit it. And he went down around the corner and he took off down there. Now a police officer took some uh, cable wires off the hood of a car at a nearby shopping center so people could leave. That was just before the skies opened up and the rain started pouring down. Many of the businesses in the area are now closed up because there, there's no power to the area. But again, just absolute miserable conditions for these national grid crews as they work fast uh, to try to get this pole repaired and the power back on. Live in Stoughton, David Beanick, WCBB, New Center 5.